Brody, What's up? body fat check. Give me a rough number. I'll give you 6.8. Oh, that'd be great, but it's definitely not true. Good morning. The sun is shining. It's cold outside, but we are in fitness culture about to heat things up, guys. This is week number eight and a half on the Swole program. I know last time I stepped on the scale, scale. we're gonna do that again today. Jake and I are still trying to both get to 225. How, how you been doing on that? I was 233 today. What are I weighing at? Too bad. What was that? What were you before? That I was think only like, like three weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That was 238 or 239? I think you're at 239. Yeah. I probably am almost the same, but I feel like I've kind of cut back on, I actually got a meal prep and stopped eating I did have in and out last night, but I stopped eating crap, as much crap, but it's still, we're still keeping it tight. So be, goal is to be 225. I'd like to keep it under 10%. Whether that's doable or not, we will find out. But I got a couple more weeks. I actually got two more weeks and then I'm gonna retest. Well, no, I got a little bit more than that. I got three and a half more weeks and then I'm gonna retest all of my maxes because I did that at the start of this program. Today is all about volume. So in the SWOL program, we basically train most muscle groups twice a week in some capacity. Today is a volume back day, which means we're gonna be up around that 15 rep range. Great for hypertrophy. Also, muscular endurance. That's what we're talking about here. One thing that, just like my strength decrease traveling the world, my muscle endurance decrease. Muscle endurance is such an important thing when we start talking about being in the gym, working towards those goals. So, we're gonna be starting off with some pull-ups after we warm up. We got 15 reps. 15 reps at 225. Let's warm up, make sure we're nice and ready to go. And also, let's go step on the scale real fast. All right, here we go. Let's go. I do get some shoes on, but that's probably right around the most I've weighed in this whole time. So we're gonna, we're gonna take off the stringer about after our first couple sets. And uh, it's gonna be a disgusting pump because that in and out last night was so dirty. All right, guys. First set, we have 15 reps here. We're gonna make sure we're going all the way down, all the way up. Biggest thing on a pull-up. A lot of times it's easy to start cheating your way up, squeezing with the biceps. What we're gonna try to do, keep those scapula retracted. And then at the top, we're gonna be squeezing, almost like a externally rotating the shoulders. It's what it's gonna feel like, but obviously we're not gonna be doing that. Um, we're gonna start with a wide grip and then we're gonna change things up over the next couple sets. All right, second set, we're going neutral grip here. This pump cover's still staying on. I got a surprise for you guys underneath. Haven't worn one of these in a minute, but we're coming into springtime. Had to bust it out. Woo. On back, again, really easy. Let the biceps start doing way more work than they should. Lock that in, retract the scapula, try to squeeze the lats first. Obviously, we're gonna include a lot of biceps in here, but try to minimize that if you can. All right, so this set, I'm gonna show you guys. Basically, if you hit failure and you're by yourself, we wanna do some partial reps. If you have a partner, Jake's gonna show you guys exactly how to spot your, spot your partner who's failed. And then if you don't have that, you can also do a band if you have a band in here. So I'm gonna hit my set, and then Jake's gonna spot me, and then I'm just gonna do some partial reps. But the band, we have that in other videos. We have that on the Fitness Culture app. Anything you guys see that we're doing here today, if you guys want more information, click the link in the bio for the Fitness Culture app. Heavy. That's all, bro. That's 15. That is 15. Oh. Woo. Oh. I already got a good pump. Oh. It's stringer season, baby. It's stringer season. I haven't worn a stringer in probably five years. I feel really weird. I'd actually feel more, more normal if I had my shirt off. But hey, it's stringer season. All right, moving on to our second exercise. We did our pull down, important when we're training back. We usually have a row mo movements. The way we train back is either a pull down or a pull up and a row movement. And then also we can start talking about lower back exercises. But for right now, jumping on basically hammer strength row. We're gonna go top grip pretty wide and then we're just gonna switch up these grips for, for our next couple sets. We got 15 reps here. 
the biggest thing, just that squeeze, half count squeeze at the end. So get a full stretch. We've just been talking about how my golf swing is actually decreasing as my muscle is increasing here. The two really don't, you don't, you don't see a ton of bodybuilders on the PGA Tour. Long drive, you kind of did in the 90s, but even now, golf's kind of inducive to length and a long swing, and I just don't have that right now, but that's okay. All right, guys, so we're about to just annihilate your lats right now. We're gonna be going supinated grip, lat pull down, trying to pull to the sternum, 15 reps, straight into a neutral grip bat wing row on an incline bench, so you're gonna need one of those, into a cable rope pull down, so pull over, basically, for lats. Um, this is something that kind of gets back to the bodybuilding days at Gold's Gym, finishing off with a giant set like this, just pumping a crazy amount of blood into the lats. So first things first, supinated, here we go. If you guys first time doing a, a uh, neutral grip, that wing row, grab something pretty light. We're gonna be chest on the bench. And what we're doing is we're actually, instead of pulling to the hips, we're gonna be coming to the side. That's what makes it the bat wing. This is my personal favorite. That's why we saved it for last. We're just going slightly bent. Elbows get a good stretch. Start in this stretch position. Ears between elbows. As we pull down, we bring chest to the wall. Two, three, four, five, six. This is always tough because it's not your first set and it's not your last set. So it's easy just to go through the motions. Don't do it on this one. Stay in it, squeeze the shit out of it. Let's go. actual bodybuilding since I'm, you know, I'm looking more and more like a bodybuilder. I would like to think that if I stepped on a classic stage, I would look, if I put on weight, and it was like 235 on stage, that would look more like Bob Paris. That's what I look at too, someone like my genetics. We'll throw a picture of him on the screen. That's someone that I'm like, okay, if I did the damn thing, that's who I'd want to bring. I, like, I could realistically, I couldn't touch, you know, I couldn't bring a Lee Haney or a Arnold or like Ronnie Coleman. Those are the three best bodybuilders in my opinion. But an old school bodybuilder like Bob Paris that I think was like 228 on stage, 5'11". If I stepped on stage at like 235, which I'm not saying I am going to, that's what I would want to look like. I'm gonna look about it. Body fat wise, body fat check. Brody, body fat check, give me a rough number. I'll give you... 6.8. Oh, that'd be great, but it's definitely not true. Under 10? Under 10, I think. You're like under 10. Don't expect to be able to lift with your shirt off if you come into fitness culture. I hate telling you that. It's a YouTube only thing. But if you do, make sure you put your shirt down. guys stringers back on back is done very effective muscle endurance back workout that was a volume but now busting out this which means you know it's time for biceps we're gonna be doing three different exercises three sets each keeping that high volume we're gonna be going dumbbell curls you can do these either two at a time or alternate i could just go two at a time on here but this is the correct anatomical position we want to be elbows pointing straight down the entire time Second exercise, 
extra biceps here. We're on the preacher, on the preacher bar here. Easy preacher bar curl, still high reps. We got 15 here. We don't want to sit too far back and get those elbows off the pad. We want to keep the back of the elbow on the pad the entire time. We don't want to have this happen. Keep those armpits and back of the arm on the pad. Now we're going with the cable slant. So basically we're gonna be keeping our elbows behind us. So changing up the variation. Now, if you look at it, where we're pulling from is behind us on this. Yes, there's gravity involved, but on a pulley system, that leverage point has changed up from the dumbbell. Um, obviously on the preacher curl, getting those arms out a little bit in front, gonna really focus on, we're really at the bottom third of the movement, all that lower bicep. As we squeeze to the top, depending on that grip variation, that's where we start focusing a little bit outer versus inner. So here is, this is gonna be a great one. As we squeeze here, we're gonna be really focusing on bicep peak. Not the inside, but more the outside, keeping the elbows behind us. All right, guys, that is it for our back and bicep workout. Let me know what you guys want to see next time in the comments below. What exercises, what body part do you want us to tackle? Again, this is all from our SWOL program. I'm really close to 225 right now. And to be honest, I'm kind of looking to, I don't know, get lean. I just, I don't feel like I can get too much bigger and be able to be athletic. And one of my things is I always like being athletic. So we'll see. Let me know what you think the next goal should be. Maybe maybe do a triathlon, maybe step on stage. Just comment below. What do you guys want to see? But we appreciate you guys. It's kind of like an old school Soldier Nation video. But maybe we'll throw some Soldier Nation music to cue it out. Bump, bump, cue that music. We'll see you guys. Okay, come here. Hi. Hi. Hi, uh, Gigi's a good boy. You were waiting for me. You were just waiting for me to outro the YouTube video. You did so good. Come on.